Optical electronics as a field has really been growing and becoming exciting recently. There's a number of applications for optics that we think about, whether it be displays or photocopiers, things like that. But really the key driving force in the last couple of decades is communications, trying to get information from one place to another. And the way we do that now, if we want to move a lot of information quickly, is we do it on fiber optics. And so while the cell phone is great for sending a little bit of information, like a conversation, wherever you are, if you really want to get a lot of data back and forth between computers or other types of communication, you use fiber optics. So fiber optics need to have optical components setting at each end of the fiber that make the light that carries information and takes that light out of the other end of the fiber and decodes it and, and tells the computer what's kind of information is being transmitted to it. So optical electronics is, is really dealing with that type of application in the communications, and that's the historical application. Now there's another one that's actually growing right now that we have some research activity in that's I think also exciting as we learn how to take this technology that we've built for communications and apply it to other things. And that's in the area of the life sciences. In particular, uh, I have some research programs in biosensors where we take these devices that we've developed for communications, we alter them a little bit to try to adapt them so they can sense things about chemical concentrations or biological mixtures, or in one case we're doing even the shapes of cells, and we can get that type of information out of these optoelectronic devices. So for example, um, the types of sensors that we're working on, the biosensors with the microscopic lasers right now, have applications such that they're able to distinguish normal cells from abnormal cells. So maybe in the blue sky future we can do things like build artificial kidneys or artificial organs that have cells from the bloodstream flowing through them and as your biosensor detects a cell that is bad or cancerous or, or hazardous somehow that it can filter it out of the system using other little microscopic systems and clean up your bloodstream for you. So that's one type of application we might envision. Optical electronics is I think really a growing great program here at CSU. We have the undergraduate concentration, but we also have a lot of graduate research going on in optoelectronics. And the program is growing. Examples of that are that we had a professor that recently won a Keck Foundation Prize. And in fact, we just recruited a, another professor that had been interviewing at a number of big name schools like Stanford who's coming here to add to the optoelectronics program. So I think we're on a roll. I think we're growing. But we still need to keep the momentum going. And there are things that are going to help that. Good students are a big one. And, and attracting big, good students here and I think that that takes things like fellowships and scholarships to get students in here. Also, good students want to work with good equipment, and so making sure that we have the type of up-to-date experimental lab equipment that is going to help them do state-of-the-art research is really important. And I think continuing to foster interactions in the area of optical electronics with industry, letting industry see that if they can help us with some of the needs that we have for setting up an environment that can educate the students, that they're going to reap a tenfold return on that in terms of the quality of people they're going to be hiring in five or ten years, that that's going to be really beneficial to them. So I, I think these are the kind of things that are going to help us, and I think Optoelectronics is, is going and growing, and I'm looking forward to the future for this. Really what I want to do at CSU is to be able to get into new areas of research that have a significant impact on technology and people. I have an, there's an opportunities a lot of places to do me too research that we know a particular field is hot so let's all go pile on that one um, or to to chase the where the funding dollars are now but my goal through doing good research opportunistically with what I can do now is to build a reputation for myself and my students and my department and my university, CSU, that says, hey, you can trust these guys to do good things in research that creates the freedom to go pursue new, exciting, novel ideas. And that's really the biggest excitement factor for me in research is the creativity of it.